The Bible said in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, it said, darkness shall cover the earth. It said, gross darkness, the people. Gross darkness. That business you are going into, there is darkness there and there is gross darkness on the people. So you can't just come there and say, I'm a Christian. No, you must come with light. Because it said, the light shines in the darkness. The darkness comprehended it not. Even Jesus, the Son of God, was on earth for 30 days, no impact. Kingdom doesn't move because you are present. Kingdom moves because you have light that comes with authority. After light came to him, in Matthew 4, 15, he said, the land of Zabulu, the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. He said, the people that sat in darkness, they have seen a great light. That means, all his work in Zabulu for 30 years had no impact on the territory until light came. And Paul says, the way this light is activated is by prayers. He said, I pray for you that the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him will come. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Somebody is going back to the economic world with light. Somebody is going back to government with light. Because that light will do two things to you. The things the devil wants to shroud away from you so that you don't prosper, you will know it. Because the Bible said that the reason God created mysteries is for our glory. And so when you go into the economic world, there is a demonic intelligence where they hide the opportunities. They hide the connections. They hide the advantages for you not to be able to see. When light come, they've comes, the first thing that happens is that you go ahead of them. So what they plan for your evil turns out for your good because you can counter all their steps. But beyond that, when light comes, you now also have authority to judge them. I pray for somebody here this morning. The authority that light confers to be able to exercise the will of God, it rests upon you now. what will happen if 50 of us in Lagos carry light light this city will be shut down it will, did you not read about Paul only two men entered the city he said this be the man that turned their world upside down the Bible said Philip went to Samaria he preached Christ there and the whole city was full of joy that means our potential is equivalent to cities. Every man is supposed to be a city in the spirit. That's why I said you are a light. A city set upon a hill. Every man is actually a city. And when God is rewarding men, he rewards them with cities. He says you have been faithful, so I give you authority over ten cities. How come hundred thousand of us are in one city we can't take over? It's because there is no light. When light comes, everyone becomes equivalent to a city i pray for you this morning the capacity to become a city take it down when you celebrate that you have a good job it's good because you appreciate god but you are bigger than a job you are a city and so when you enter any sphere you come with new civilization you come with new government you come with new operational system you come with new powers to change that place because you are a city. I decree over you the capacity of a city. Receive it now. We are not at the mercy of the sons of the bond women. No. We are the light of the world. They are not. As this conference is over, there will be a reassignment of functionaries. Some of you, God will begin to send to the academia. Some of you, he will send to the media. Some of you, he will send to the economics. Some of you, he will send to government. But now you know you are an ambassador. And so the authority to take over, receive it now. Moses was one man. He took Egypt. 
Daniel was one man, he took Babylon. Jonah was one man, he took Nineveh. John was one man, he took Jerusalem. Philip was one man, he took Samaria. Received the power to take Lagos. He said, according as it is written, he said, they believe and have spoken. He said, we having the same spirit of faith, we believe and therefore we speak. He said, God is not a respecter of persons. If Moses could do it, if Daniel could do it, if Philip could do it, then you too can do it. And so in this conference, the capacity to do, receive it now. Hear this. If this thing does not take number, if only few of us can do it, what now will happen if all of us can do it? You know, I began by telling you it's not about number and population. It's about stature. But nobody says all of us should not have stature. So if 10 of us can do it, what now happens if we are 100,000? The Bible said in Zechariah 10 verse 1, ask of me rain in the time of the latter rain. He said, I will cause bright cloud and showers on every blade of grass. He said, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, he said, there rested upon them cloven tongues as of fire and it affected all of them. I decree everybody here, both in this hall and online, and those who will hear later, receive that grace now. Yeah.